Okay, so I have it out of the box. Now the next thing to do is to charge it. You should charge it for at least 30 minutes before you turn it on because let's say you turn it on and you start your setup process and in that process your smartwatch battery dies, turns off. This could actually sometimes create problems. So what you need to do here is to charge it for at least 30 minutes and then come back and join me into the setup process. Unlock your online potential with Hostinger's fast, secure and affordable web hosting solutions. Click on the link below for an exclusive 20% off and start building your dream website today. Okay, so I have my power bank here and now I'm going to charge it. Uh, once I start charging it, you will see that the smartwatch will turn on automatically. That's perfectly fine. Now leave it for about 30 minutes to charge and then come back so we can continue with the setup. Okay, now that the smartwatch is charged, the next thing on the list is going to be to choose the language. I already did that. And now you will get to this page. We need to scan this QR code and um, connect it to the smartwatch. Now, if for some reason um, charging it didn't turn it on, you can always press and hold the button for a few seconds. All right, now let's scan the QR code. And the way we do that is by using an app called QR Code Scanner. If you don't have this app, go to the App Store and install it for yourself. And then all you need to do is just to scan the QR code with the camera like this and tap on this link. Once you tap on the link, you will be uh, sent to this page, then tap on the download here, and then you will get redirected to your uh, App Store where the app is located. So you can tap here on install to install this app. Now, if for some reason this um, QR code didn't work for you, you can always go to uh, App Store and search for a Mi Fitness app there, and then you can just install it from there. So both ways work fine. So now I'm going to tap on install to install the app. And once you install the app, tap on open. Okay, so before we continue, just make sure that your Bluetooth is on. My Bluetooth is on, so that's perfectly fine. I'm going to tap on start. Here I'm going to tap here that I have read and agreed to user agreement and privacy policy. Tap on agree. And now choose your location. And I'm going to choose here United Kingdom. Tap on next. And uh, here I am in the app. So the next step is to connect the device. Tap here on the device. Tap on add the device. And then this app needs to transfer data to your via Bluetooth. Um, allow this and then permission. You need to agree here. And then again, tap on allow. Uh, here you will choose Redmi Watch 4. And then you'll probably get this uh, prompt here. You can see that on both screens we have the same number. So now uh, you can tap here on pair and tap here on check. And here you will wait a little bit for them to connect. And here you will see actually that it's paired successfully. So after that, you can just press on start here. And that's pretty much it. The watch is ready to be used. Now on the last page here, we have a few things here that we need to do. But all of this can be done later. So actually, I suggest that you just skip this for now. Tap here on done. And then continue and with that we are pretty much done you have a few things here just instructional slides tap on done sync all notifications you can do this now or later i'm just tap here on set set and then we need to choose uh, the me fitness app this is very important tap in me fitness and allow access allow again and now we are allowing the smartphone to uh, connect to the smartwatch and send notifications. So this is very important to do right away at the beginning. Tap on set, allow, allow again, allow. The next step here is sync DND with phone. DND stands for don't disturb. That means that when the phone is on don't disturb, the smartwatch will be too. So it's really up to you if you want that. I'm going to tap on set. Now, if you get any options to update Redmi Watch 4, definitely do that. You want to always update your device. I have a prompt here for update, so I'm going to tap here 
on continue and tap here on download. During the update, make sure that your smartwatch is close to the smartphone. Once the update is done, just tap on continue. And uh, you can see that we just had a vibration here. And yeah, it's, and now we'll have to wait for the updating on the smartwatch. So let's wait for that. Okay, so I get a message here that it couldn't connect. And it says that to turn off the Bluetooth off and on again or reboot your device if it's updating try again and that's probably because the smartwatch is updating right now so i'm going to wait for the update to be done and then i'm going to try to reconnect again okay now that the update is done we can see that everything is working fine we just need to connect it again so if you have an option here which says connect means that it's not connected tap here and wait for the smartwatch to connect to the phone and once you see here sync that means that they are both connected together and that's pretty much it with this we are successfully uh, connected this smartwatch with the app